Hey everyone, I'm going to make a short news video to talk a bit about what's new in the course for the Kickstarter backers, for those of you who bought it. Thank you for your support as always. That's what makes free content possible as well as higher quality premium content. So in the course this month, it's not a huge update, but it's an important one. I finished the monster chapter and you have the remake for the finite state machine chapter. This took some work, I tried to improve the code and you can see that because I also released some codes open source, so the FSM one is open source right now. And yeah, the FSM is only for the pro version. In the next release, I'm going to finish the hobby version of the course, the first version. So if you want to get it in early access, now's the time. More importantly, two things. For one, free content, weekly content is back. It's something I've struggled to do working on open source projects, moving to Japan. Now it's back and I'm committed to releasing content every week. I say content because there's been YouTube videos, but also open source code. And that's something I can bring that not all YouTubers will bring to you. Yet it's very important. That's how you learn programming, right? And on top of that, we have articles coming. So I promised to make a guide for Godot about getting started with game development, game design, etc., bringing my experience asking other professionals, you know, for advice, things like these. So this is going to be in text format because I really want the document to be editable, to be able to add some more advice, to answer your questions, etc. So most of these series will be free, open source and text-based as well. Another very important news is I'm starting to work with other people. So we have Aditya on one hand, who is going to work on video editing and he does everything with open source tools. And on the other hand, there should be a new face on the channel coming soon. And yeah, you'll see, it's gonna be a surprise, but it's a very promising instructor, so I'm glad to be working with him. I'm looking for more people to invest some of the money from the, the course, because I have some savings before me and I really can't do all the work alone anymore. So you're going to see this coming in effect over time. Last but not least, we have finally the 1.0 version of the Blender Power Sequencer tools coming along with tutorials. We're working on high quality tutorials with Daniel Oki, a contributor. I'm a bit late on my part, but the editing is in progress. And yeah, finally it's coming. It really has to come out. So this is an open source Blender video editing add-on. And with it, you can edit videos faster than with most tools out there. So Blender has its limitations and that'll be covered in the tutorial. But for pure editing, cutting, trimming, if you want to do quality edits, it's very fast, it's free, and it's a lot better than cheap software in this regard. I used Sony Vegas in the past and other programs and I moved to Blender and I've not been looking back. So yeah, that's it. Thank you kindly for your time. I wish you a pleasant day. Be creative, have fun and see you in the next one. Bye bye.